Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I'm answering a question about canonical tags and having a republished post on Medium that outranks your original content. Now the reason why I'm doing this video today is yesterday I was in a Twitter conversation with some friends and colleagues of mine and we were looking at uh, a mutual friend, their um, Medium post, which was originally published on their website, was ranking, I think it was like top three for a certain term, but their original content was nowhere to be found in, uh, you know, top 50, top 60 results. And then I go into a marketing forum today and somebody was asking the same exact question where a post that they published on Medium that they had originally published on their website was outranking the original content and uh, this came up in both conversations, the canonical tag. Now, <clears throat> for those who know what SEO is, the canonical tag, it's, uh, it's a little piece of code that's in the web page. It's in the HTML. It tells search engines that here is the web address, the URL of the original and uh, the what we consider to be canonical, but it, what, what is the word I'm searching for? The, um, this is the piece of content that you should consider to be the authoritative piece if there's different copies of this same exact article across the web. That's basically what a canonical tag is supposed to do. It's supposed to say here is the original and the definitive piece. Uh, so whenever you see a copy of this, this is the piece of content that you should rank. However, uh, a lot of people republish their stuff on medium.com. What ends up happening a lot of time is the republished content that's on medium.com will end up outranking the original content. So why does Google not respect the canonical tag or a better way to phrase it is why can you not simply rely on a canonical tag on republished content to uh, tell Google outrank um, all the copies of my content that I've republished and redistributed but rank my original piece of content. Uh, the, canon the canonical tag is basically a hint. Uh, Google does not have to respect it. Uh, the clue, I think, resides in... There's another video that we did when it talks about um, a copy of a piece of content. And in this case, we we're talking about a PDF that's distributed on a bunch of different sites. However the highest authority authority site, the site with the most links uh, pointing toward it, the page with the most page rank, AKA link juice or link equity, pointing at it often is the one that ends up having the piece of content uh, that is seen as the definitive piece regardless of canonical tags. And that's something that I saw in search um, console maybe like two years ago and that's where I first encountered this but a lot of people see this in the wild and they're very confused medium is simply a higher authority site more links point to it all the links that go out from it are no followed so it doesn't lose any um, link equity but it's a very a big site, it's just completely a content site. There's millions and millions and millions of articles on it. Um, and a lot of people make it part of their daily reading routine. So um, in essence, what happens is <clears throat> you're a site that might have 100 sites linking to your website, maybe, maybe even like 200, 300, whatever. It's not outranking medium.com with the same piece of content on their site that's on your site. Um, because Google is just choosing 
to look at that canonical tag and say, yeah, we do understand that this was originally published on this website over here. But since these are two of the same pieces of content and it's not a duplicate content penalty, it's simply Google is choosing one to rank because there's no point in showing you know, multiple copies of the same piece of content. We can just choose one and put it up there. And that's the one that they're choosing to put up there um, because this website just simply has more page authority, domain authority. And yes, I know those are not search metrics or metrics that Google uses. Those are used by SEO tools. I understand that, but I'm just trying to explain it in a context that makes sense. So what can you do? Um, one thing that you might try doing is getting more links to your own site, more followed links that pass page rank and page equity uh, that flow some of that link juice uh, to your website. Uh, that's one thing that you can do. Um, you might try interlinking different pages on your site, link to that page that you want to see uh, rank higher. That might help because internal pages also pass page rank, they pass link equity as well. It's not just external websites linking into your site that flow that link equity. Your internal pages can pass it between one another. So that's another thing you can do. Uh, keep publishing stuff. Uh, honestly, try and get some guest posts out there that link back to your website. Promote your original page on social media as opposed to the medium uh, post, but don't be discouraged if you see this because again, the long-term thing that you're going for is to build up your name. It's to build up the recognition of your brand, have people recognize you as an author, uh, someone who has something to say on the web, getting recognition for your brand, your company. So all those things build up over time. Those things are a lot harder to measure, but if you continually publish and you're known as a person that people can trust and a person that's a go-to source of information and you continually publish on your website and in other places and people are always seeing your name and they're always seeing that you have good things to say, well, eventually those uh, hyperlinks that you're looking for from other websites, they become a little bit easier to get. And over time, your original site and your original piece of content might rank. But uh, to sum it up, canonical tags, you can put a canonical tag in a redistributed piece of your content on Medium or wherever it else it is that it originally um, appeared and you're pointing toward your site. But it doesn't mean that automatically your site is going to rank at the top. More often than not, Google is going to take the piece of content that's on the site that has the most link equity, the most domain authority, and those sorts of things. And that is going to be the copy of that exact piece of content that ends up ranking highest. I hope that makes sense. My name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO, and I'm here every single day making videos on SEO. I wanna thank all the subscribers who have come on this last year. I really appreciate it. That's all I have for now. Until next time, peace.